China, Russia move to protect Myanmar from international pressure. This is the topic report. And this is one of these stories where I don't necessarily believe that either China or Russia really cares one fig about who's in control of Myanmar per se. But what they don't want is any type of influence coming in that region that is not either one of them. And, and certainly Russia... Russia has a love-hate relationship with China, so both of them intend on stabbing each other in the back the first chance they get. But right now, they're sort of convenient allies, but they got their own tensions. It's, it's complicated. It's always complicated when it comes to nation states. The, your ally is your enemy, and your enemy is your ally. It's, it's, it's a bloody mess. Uh, but in this case, we have the Chinese foreign minister warns against foreign interference interference in Myanmar. This is from Child South China Morning Post. So their China is signaling that it it it, it just wants me. They want to be the players. They want to be the peace brokers here. So they continue to have the influence, and and Russia wants to get a, a place in that influence as well. Because look right here, Russia warns Myanmar sanctions could spark quote full blown civil conflict unquote. Listen, whatever nation states say, don't don't try to follow the logic like logic and reason within a frame of actual justice, actual morality, actual truth that you and I could understand. You have to frame it within a reality of power. Consider the psychopaths involved. In this case, we got Chairman Z and we got Putin, the two psychopaths involved in this conversation. Not that all psychopaths are evil. David Wood is a psychopath and he's a pretty solid Christian apologist. So not all psychopaths are bad. But in this case, when you have a psychopath that happens to be a leader, uh, a government leader especially, that's, that's when it's a bad thing. Myanmar, meanwhile, on the other side of this, Myanmar protesters burn Chinese flag because they're starting to associate China with the the, the junta. Uh, so China's 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 once again there. They're they're dealing in a tricky, it's a very sticky situation. They're, they're walking in a minefield as as these nation states often have to do. India must turn back must not turn back Myanmar refugees. This is from the Hindu Business Line dot com, and th there's uh you know what is India's interest? In India definitely has an interest not to have China be. They're not necessarily. I don't I don't know the details of of the historic involvement between Myanmar. And India, so I don't want to speak to, about something that I don't know. But I, whether they have a good connection or not, historically, for whatever reason, India definitely would be interested in seeing China weaken because China is most assuredly one of their major competitors. China is everybody's major competitor. America is everybody's major competitor too, but certainly China is. So you can see why what India's uh, power interest would be there. Uh, there's Myanmar's brutal military was once a force for freedom, but it's been waging civil war for decades. That's the conversation.com. This might be, I, I didn't look at this too detailed, but I, it might be one of the few places where you can actually get some, some actual truth about what's going on there and not whatever, whatever the nation state propagandists are slinging up above there. And now I think I'll end it at that.